This here is a test of my X-ray transformer. It likes uh, about 15 kilohertz is uh, the upper range at about uh, 240 volts DC. We're going to be driving it today with an IGBT. Um, IGBT is a 1200 volt, 1200 amp IGBT. Typically you don't really want to go through uh, more than about half of the maximum uh, current or voltage. Today we're going to be running it on about 12 volts at about 10 amps. Um, we have a home mirror uh, IGD, IGBT driver. Um, this one here is actually uh, my uh, gate current and my frequency. Um, it, uh, only reason being is that uh, it seems to be uh, the IGBT seems to be a little bit fussy about uh, the um, the gate current as I get up into the upper frequencies. Um, we're going to start it up uh, a bit above the actual uh, resonant frequency or one of the harmonics uh, that I found. Um, reason being is that way um, you kind of hear it tune into the resonant frequency as the uh, spark starts to jump. So let's go ahead and uh, get underway here of firing this up. Get our voltage. And uh, let's go ahead and turn her on. And that there is uh, an ear detonating uh, <laughs> X-ray transformer. Um, basically, uh, inside of this transformer is four smaller uh, flyback-style transformers and a series of diodes uh, that actually, um, basically, uh, they have a transformer that does positive side, negative side, and um, there's actually it's set up to do two and two to double the current. Um, we have two sets. As you can see, uh, coming up into here, I have uh, it wired to both the first and second set to double the current. Um, as you can see, the wires are kind of thin to the second set, only because they're taking about five amps a piece. Um, which, you know, when uh, when I eventually take it up to some higher voltages, uh, which will cause it to draw more current, we'll be using thicker wire for both primary and uh, uh, both the first and second set on the primary sides of the transformers. The four output leads, as you see on this back side here, uh, there's actually a selector switch for most likely two x-ray heads or uh, whatever they were using it for. Um, we have it set, of course, to the primary set, which, as you can see, was where our spark cap was coming from. We were getting about an inch or so on the, uh, the spark there, which we could take it a little bit further. Um, but being as uh, I don't have a, uh, a safety gap or anything set up yet, I didn't really want to push the limits of uh, the uh, secondary sparks. Uh, there hasn't been any modifications to this transformer except for the, uh, I've actually taken out the current limiting resistors on the secondary side. There was a set of 480 ohm resistors that uh, one of them was actually cracked in half, which is why this was most likely decommissioned in the first place. Um, the IGBT will normally have a heat sink on it, but being that uh, we're running on such a low voltage, it doesn't get uh, noticeably warm at the frequencies we're running it at. And we'll go ahead and fire it up one last time before uh, ending the video. And uh, as you can see there, um, the uh, like I said, the uh, gate current on the IGP uh, can be a little picky. Yeah, so sometimes you have to kind of dial it in to get it properly tuned. Once you have it in a good spot, usually it uh, it stays pretty well. And 
that there is the x-ray uh, transformer at uh, 12 volts be sure to stay tuned for the uh, the video when we eventually get it up to uh, 240 volts DC that'll uh, be quite the uh, quite the spark I think